Hello. Hi, how's it going, bud? Pretty good. How are you? Doing good, thank you. What's new? Oh, it's another day, man. Another day? Yeah. Okay. Going to work, working out. That's about it. Do you have time for a four-minute chat? Sure, what you got? I'm attempting this thing called street epistemology. I'm not sure if you heard about it yet. No. It's a way of exploring a belief that a person has by asking them questions to see how they're so sure that it's true. Okay. So like, uh, a lot people pick the topic too. That's the cool thing. So like, if you really think that ghosts are real, or you're sure karma is a thing, or you pray to a higher power, or your view on some political topic, like you really think marijuana should be legalized, or you really think marijuana should be not legalized, um, I just ask questions to explore your certainty and how you got there. What method did you use to get there? Do you want to give it a go? Yeah, sure, why not? Do you mind if we stand in the shade, though, a little bit? Maybe like this way? All right. Okay. My name is Anthony, by the way. Ryan. Ryan? Nice. Pleasure to meet you. How do I spell it? The first name. R-Y-A-N. Okay. Are you okay if I record this? Oh, I don't care. Okay. At the end of the talk, if you're uncomfortable with it, just let me know. And I won't use it. I won't use the footage. Uh, i got a second camera to put on me. That's what this one is here. I think that should work. Yeah, cool. Okay, Ryan. Well, I, I kind of threw out a couple of different examples. Um, is anything leaping to mind? Not in particular. I mean, yeah. I mean, me personally, I don't care if marijuana is legal. I think it's uh, probably better than drinking alcohol. But ah, okay. <laughs> we can definitely explore. Uh, Believe that higher power. I mean, I do pray. Mm. I'm not real religious, but spiritual mm -hmm. I'd rather. So, I mean, pick a topic. Can we explore why you pray? Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, it just takes the load off me. You know, I don't have to sit there and think I know every all the answers to every question. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives me an access to vent too if I need to get something off my mind or maybe just say, hey, I don't know what to do. Mm. Maybe something will come out. Okay. Uh, you find yourself praying when you need some sort of guidance as far as like which way to go with a decision or something like that? That or, you know, I, I pray, try to pray daily. Okay. Uh, just says, help me out throughout the day, you know. Mm. Make sure I don't lose my temper or, you know. Or act right in certain situations. Okay. And do you find that it actually helps you? It benefits you in some way? Sometimes. Kind of helps me get my mind off and said, all right, I don't got to worry about it. I got it out there. Okay. Hmm. Is there a particular, like, deity of God that you're praying to? I call it God, but I mean, like I said, I'm not real religious. Uh huh. So, I mean, I've read the Bible and then I question a lot of stuff, so I don't try to put too many, I guess, questions on it. Oh. Or thought process into it. I just pray and leave it alone. Okay. That is, makes any sense. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Is there some reason why you don't pursue it? Like, why don't you put a lot of questions on it? Why make things difficult when it doesn't have to be? Would ask because I, that, that's a question that will never end. The Bible was written by men, uh -huh. claimed to be by God. You know, I want to say I believe. I think mm. to a sense I do. Would asking questions about the validity of prayer complicate things? No, to the little prayer because, like I said, I believe it works. It takes it off my off of me. Mm -hmm. But you know, mm -hmm. how certain would you say that you are that when you pray, there's actually something listening and and helping you, like zero to one hundred? No, seventy five, eighty. Or I seem I seem to believe that it works. Okay, um, you believe that it works. Do you have a good uh, justification for believing that it works? I don't. You know, I said like mm. when I like I said when I do pray, you know, I try to ask him to take things away that I might be having difficulties with, and it seems to just go off my mind. Okay. After a period of time. Mm-hmm. Not immediately all the time, but. I see. Uh, so if I understand right, like you might be struggling with something, you decide to pray, and then, the act of doing that takes that. It takes. I think it takes an extent of that power away, whatever is going through my mind or bothering me at the time. It takes it off your mind. Yeah. Okay. Is it an entity who's listening and taking it off of your mind? Or is it simply the act of talking out loud about it that's taking it off your mind or maybe even something I think else? it's the act of talking it out loud. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, hmm. It could be an entity, but like I said, I try not to go too far into that part of it. Yeah. Okay. And what is your opinion on it? What do you believe? On the praying thing? I, I guess... I guess I could probably let's say I'm struggling with a big decision 
I'm not really at the moment, but let's say that there was something really troubling me, I might go on this hike and talk it out, talk it out to myself, like, you know, maybe thinking about all the different options or that I could take or where could I go to, to find the answer to this or who could I turn to for help? And I guess I, I could probably could call that praying. Yeah. But I wouldn't be, in my mind, I wouldn't be saying, oh, you know, the creator of the universe, please listen to me and give me the answer. Well, yeah. Are you doing that? Yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll give you a little rundown on what I pretty much do on a daily basis. Yeah. I start off with what I'm grateful for. I try to start off with a positive mindset. Mm. And, uh, you know, I just asked him to guide me throughout the day, you know, if I have struggles with something. Like I said, I refer to him as God, but um, it's just a name. Yeah. Uh, and I just guide me throughout the day, you know, try to help me be a better father, son. Mm. You know, just a man and a friend of people. Uh, I'm a supervisor at my job, so mm. I, how I can help them and not get frustrated, whatever the scenario may be. Just yeah. things like that. I keep it simple. Sure. Just try to be better throughout the day. Yeah. And that's what I do, try to do on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. That's noble. Could a person participate in that activity, still enjoy all the benefits of having done so, and not attribute the guidance that they're getting to a God. I think they could benefit from it. Like I said, I, I just try to keep it spiritual. I call it God. I mean, I, I don't, mm. like I said, I don't try to, I try to keep it not real religious. Uh -huh. but it helps me, like I said, it keeps me get a part of a mindset and see what I can try to do better throughout the day. Sure. Yeah, it's sort of like a mental inventory of here's, 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 here are my goals, here are my challenges, here are my options. I see, yeah. So, I mean, I don't try to keep it real religious, so I think mm -hmm. it can benefit people if they so choose to do that. Yeah. Did you say you were 80% sure that it was a God that you were praying I to? I think about 70 to 80%, 70 to but I think, you know, like I said, that's where I start going into questioning things. I try to. I guess I try to say that I'm kind of somewhat religious, but uh -huh. at the end of the day, I still question it all. Okay. Good. All right, sir. Ryan, that was awesome, dude. All right, well, hopefully that, it was what that, you were looking for. That was really cool, yeah. I, I don't meet a lot of people where we sort of do like a meta discussion about questioning, but I mean, that could be, I mean, that, that's always kind of neat to see why do some people, here's my card too with my email. Okay. Why do some people uh, enjoy questioning? Like the, the woman that I just talked to before you, she's like, I question everything. I'm always questioning. But some people, it seems uh, they're a little tentative to question. Well, it's in that because if, if I start, well, with that kind of, a lot of things I'll question. You know, depending on what it is. Like, say I work uh, in a chemical plant, I'm going to question a lot of things. Why is this piece of machinery doing that? But when I start questioning mm. God, like I said, I've read the Bible. Mm. And to me, it's like, the stories kind of seem a little funny. Mm -hmm. So I try not to dig into something because it's going to sit there. And it's one of those kind of things that will make you sit there and keep spinning. No, this ain't real. No. But uh. I mean, the, the points from the Bible are very, to me, valuable assets. Like, treat people that way you want to be treated. Be kind. Mm. There could be some good messages in it. They're good messages. But I mean, it's when you start breaking down the whole religious thing, you know, I'm getting there. I've tried to go to church, and you see people in there that are trying to change. Uh huh. But everybody's in there trying to find something to be better. Yeah. In your work, do you find that questioning is beneficial? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, a lot of other, other things I like to question. Because if you're in there working people's machinery, how come it's not a malfunction? You got to look into why and not just dive into it. You, you can't just guess, or, yeah. um, I mean, I guess you could go off of a feeling. Although it might lead you to the wrong conclusion, I suppose. That's right, yeah. I guess what I'm wondering is why wouldn't you use that same arsenal of tools that you use at work for these other claims about reality? What's holding you back from questioning these these religious beliefs, these views of God and the Bible and that type of stuff? I mean, I've tried to do it before, and it just kind of deters me from it. Why? Because there's no specific answer that's going to be what somebody's belief is, what somebody's thought. I'd rather just keep simple and try to keep a simple belief in him. Are you worried what you might find if you question too much? No, I just don't think I'll, I think I'll be chasing a tail. I've seen a dog chase his tail running around in circles. Yeah. Because it'll be like... Well, but what does that mean, though? Like, you, you'll, you'll keep asking questions and never get the answers? Yeah. Because it's just, to mm. me, it's somebody's opinion what they think is real. Okay. The God, the the, the 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 view that a God exists is an opinion, not a claim some, about. Yeah, some people don't believe in it. Some people do. Mm -hmm. I mean, hmm. it's an open end theory. I like to say I try to believe. That's why I try to keep it simple. That way, I keep my mindset that way. Okay. Interesting. 
All right, dude. Well, do you have any questions for me? I don't, man. Do you want a water before you go? I got some ice water there. Oh, no, thank you, man. I got one in the car. Okay. I appreciate it. I really appreciate your time. And if you uh, if you want to hit me up on email or you see me out here again, you want to chat some more, I'd love to keep examining uh, the belief and sort of this uh, possible reluctance to question too much. I kind of get the impression, I don't know if this is the case. If it's not, let me know. But I think what you're saying is it might just be spinning my wheels or wasting my time if I question something that may not, there might not be answers to to begin with. Yeah, I mean... Because really what you're going to base your, all your... Well, you can read the Bible. Like I said, there's a lot of good stories, but then some of it's like, that can't be real. Mm. And I don't want to deter myself from trying to think of a positive view. Okay. To get away from a positive view. I see, Okay, I think I understand. You're, I think what you're saying is that I, I Ryan, have... So, I can see so many benefits of believing that this is true. If I question too much it might challenge the benefits that I'm getting from believing yes. that it's true. That, that's pretty much, yeah, that's on point, I, I would say. Mm. Is it conceivable that this stuff isn't true, and yet you're still getting benefits from believing in something that's not true? I'm not saying it's untrue, but I mean, I don't want to dig into it and distort my reality of it. I want to keep everything simple. Okay. And say that I can believe in it, because it has been working for me. Mm. Mm. I mean, I, like I said, I don't want to, Getting into an argument with somebody saying that believes in God and somebody that doesn't. And say that it's all false. Yeah. I mean, I want to believe in the positive and the reality that it could be true. I'm mm. making this difficult, but... No, no, it's, I think I follow you. You said, I want to believe in the positive and that it's... I believe that it could be true instead of trying to dig and prove it false. Because it has been working for me. I see. The, the fact that the, this belief is working for you supersedes the need for the belief to be true. Yeah. And I don't have a point to chase, like I said, it's working, so. Hmm. Hmm. All right, man. That was cool. All right, bud. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take it easy. Right. Bye, Ryan. That's a fellow who one or two more conversations like this, I think would make great strides in figuring out if this is a belief that he really needs to have. Can he still enjoy all the benefits of going on the trail, talking it through, questioning like he does at work, but starting to apply these questions towards the foundation of his belief that there might be some God listening to his prayers. He seems to prefer believing things because he gets benefit from it and that outweighs his need for it to be true uh, i think just a couple of more conversations to explore the potential hazards of that kind of philosophy could be extremely profound i love the fact that he brought up the example of how he uses questioning at work and then we talked about how if you didn't use questioning it could lead you to wrong conclusions that gives us a really good baseline to move forward from. I hope I run into him again so we can explore this further.